What's going on everybody and welcome back to the St. Thomas Dynasty where we will take on Tulsa in the thick of the American West. Four teams within half a game of each other. This is where things truly get extremely exciting man these last five games. But let's see if we can take care of Tulsa man. So if you're excited about this episode make sure you smash that like button as well as subscribe if you happen to be new. Let's go ahead and take on the Tulsa Golden Hurricanes in Oklahoma. Alright man, final game before we get into the meat of our American Conference schedule. Gonna go ahead and set a tone with a Lucas carry up the right hand side. He's already got some space. He's already at the 35 yard line for Tulsa. As we force a free and out on these guys on, the, on their first possession, let's see if we can turn the points for us. As the Colts plays later, third and four. Coley going to try to get it up the middle, but he's stuffed in the middle. We're going to have to settle for a field goal. That is definitely really disappointing to see. As now, second and six for Tulsa Golden Hurricanes. That's a heck of a name right there. First first down goes to Ryan McClellan, who gets eight yards on the play. But we get him to a third and long on a couple plays later. Let's see if we can get him off the field. In a quickly timely matter once again as the tight end goes in motion multiple times as we get the sack. That is Buster Porter getting in there and just laying down the lumber. As now we're at a third and six. Couple plays later. Isaiah Thomas, he's breaking some tackles. He's down the sideline and he is gone. Touchdown, Tommy's. A 55-yard score for Isaiah Thomas as that extends our lead to 10 to nothing. As Tulsa's desperately trying to find their offense. They have not really moved the ball very well in their first couple of drives, so they might get a little bit of a break here as Dale Garrison finally does bring him down, but not before gain of 17. It's the best play of this entire game so far for the Golden Hurricanes. As now, first and ten once again. They're going to try to go deep. That's deflected as it should have been intercepted by Jared Scott. If only he didn't have hands made of butter, he could have made that pick. But instead, it's now third and ten. Don't get too cute as they go deep to the right-hand side over the head of Kevin Carter. He actually didn't have that bad coverage. You know, it's just a perfect throw, and that's really hard to beat. As now, they're going to go ahead, throw it to Alexander once again. Ryan Ward actually escapes pressure. Antoine Black should have had the sack, but escaped the, the sack. But now it's third and seven once again. Guys aren't making plays for him as we blow him up behind the line of scrimmage. Ryan Ward gets sacked by DJ Watson as he just bulldozes his way through two offensive linemen. So now Tulsa sells for a field goal. We're back on the field. Let's see what we can do. Coley going to take the run up the gut. Gain of six yards. Was originally going to be an off tackle sweep, but it's all better space up the gut. Let's see if we can get this first down, though, as Brooks goes up the middle. Breaks it of tackle in the process, and we already are close to midfield already. The offense is humming along to a T. As now, a couple plays later, going to hand off to Coley. He's going to barrel his way through himself, a five-yard rush. Lucas Coley, man, always falling forward. You'd love to see that from any tailback. That's why he should be in the NFL. As we go to the end of the first quarter, we're up 10-3. to three. Second quarter coming up shortly. All right, let's see if we can continue the strong start that we had in this first quarter. As now, third and four. Brooks going to throw to Jamie Smith. He narrowly... Picks up the first down. He gets just enough to keep the drive alive. Not the prettiest offense in the world, man. I'll tell you that much, but we're going to make it happen regardless. As IT breaks another tackle, but this time he can't get away from the Tulsa secondary. Does get eventually brought down. The last time he had like a curl route on the right-hand side, it went for six. As this offense is humming along. Kurt Hershey always says, man, get those keys out. We are certainly... On a drive, man, as we got second and one. Going to hit these guys with a play action. Brooks looking around. Going to find Jamie Smith, the fullback. Humbling and bumbling forward for an 11-yard gain. 
Essentially a first and goal coming up here. Let's see if we can punch it in for six again. As Coley going to find the end zone. Yes, he does. Touchdown, Tommies. As Lucas Coley makes this a two-score ball game. St. Thomas now up 17-3. And we are certainly pouring it on early against our American Conference opponents. They simply have not had the sauce today man they are a decent team too four and three you know they definitely you know aren't that bad of a squad as you can see some of the talent on this Tulsa squad Michael Gardner taking it up the field for 26 what a great run for this tailback as now first and ten Ward dropping back Buster Porter falls down he ends up throwing it away throws it right into the back of his offensive lineman so it goes for an incompletion as it looks like there's going to be a flag falling on the field it's going to be a false start on Tulsa that's going to back him up further another five yards as they're going to try to get the screen but we are there to snuff it up that's DJ Watson getting in there making that hit once again and now it's third and 20 in the shotgun, this quarterback is ready to snap the ball. Ward dropping back. He's looking. He's going to get hit as he's thrown. As it's tipped away, Corey Johnson is there on the coverage. Tulsa does have to punt it, but we go free and out on our next possession as well. So we're back at it again. See if they have better results this time around. As Ward dropping back. He's going to actually scramble it. This time around, as his fumble, can we fall on it? There's a huge dog pile, and we don't fall on it. It actually is Michael Gardner, the tailback, that actually gets that fumble. Man, a missed opportunity to get a turnover, as there's another halfback screen. This time, we weren't as ready for it, as there's a first down for Michael Gardner. We should have stopped this, man. There is no excuses for why we just allowed that first down right here, man. We just got to play ball, though. Third and nine. Second time is a charm. Ward. This time he's going to be lit up. Looks like it's both Buster Porter and Ant Brian Anderson both getting in there and making a tackle. So now only a minute 30 left here in this first half. Let's see if we can get, uh, finish the job. Noah Brooks. He's going to throw up the middle to Tyreek Miller. He's going to shake and bake for 18 yards. Obviously influenced by that Talladega Knights. And then we'll throw deep for Miller again. We got a step, and that was a touchdown. That was going to be a touchdown. We had a linebacker on Tyreek Miller that was dropped. Man, that really blows. So we're going to have to try again. We do end up getting into Tulsa territory. Damian Hudson the third making the catch that time. His first catch of the day goes for a nice, cool first down as now. Brooks dropping back. He finds Isaiah Thomas. He gets to the red zone already. Tommy's looking to make this a free score game before we go into the locker room. Let's see if we can succeed in that endeavor. As there's no rush for us to, you know, melt this clock any further. Just got to get out of bounds, which we do end up doing. But now, third and two. Going to rely on the run game here to pick up this first down. Coley, he gets some blocks. Can he get into the end zone, though? Oh, he is so close. The one-yard line monster must have gotten him that time. As we actually run out of time, so we're going to have to settle for a field goal. Not something that I necessarily want to do. But this defense, though, has been lights out to start this second half, though. We go into the locker room with a 20-3 lead, and we'll get the ball starting this third quarter. Second half going to be coming very shortly. All right, boys and girls, welcome back to this matchup between the St. Thomas Tommies and the Tulsa Golden Hurricanes as Brooks dropping back. He's going to throw over the middle. He's going to find Isaiah Thomas early over the middle one-on-one -on -one matchup. Isaiah Thomas is going to win most of those. As we'll get to the line of scrimmage quickly, Brooks throws again to IT. He picks up another nine yards. Another near first down. But we're in danger of having to punt this ball away. As Brooks going to try to throw over the middle. He finds Pablo Sanchez. It's a good throw. A great first down. As we're deep in Tulsa territory once again. Let's see if we can get another score on these guys. As Coley picks up the carry for 11. 
Running game humming along pretty well. Coley with seven yards per carry. That is what I'm calling getting the job done as we had both Allen and Isaiah Thomas, but neither of them really registered to catch. So that's really unfortunate. So we're gonna have we're gonna run it once again. Coley does pick up the first down for us, but man, we could have had a touchdown a lot sooner though. Hopefully it doesn't uh go against us as we do get into the end zone anyways touchdown tommies as alex garcia gets into the end zone another score for this tommy's offense as we're opening up a lead on this tulsa football team already up by 24 points as now free and out so now we got the ball back once again this time we're going to start by throwing it to alex garcia that goes for a gain of seven only a second catch today besides a touchdown he's been very quiet you know as we haven't really had much of a need to really rely on that passing game very much Lucas Coley has absolutely been deadly as now Brooks gonna throw over to Isaiah Thomas to the other side he picks up six more yards already across midfield as most of our throws have gone to IT so far today insane day eight catches 126 as Brooks will now go with the play action. Going to go to Jamie Smith over the right-hand side. They covered everything else downfield pretty darn well, actually. As we'll keep this thing rolling. First and 10. Brooks going to go up the field. He's got some space to work with. Kit, and he's caught from behind. If he didn't have that receiver get in front of him, he could have had six points right there. But instead, got to wait just a little bit longer as we throw an absolute dart. Isaiah Thomas in the end zone. Touchdown, Tommies! Another score for St. Thomas and this offense, man. 34-3. Just when it rains, it is pouring. And it is pouring both literally and figuratively. As Tulsa will desperately try to get something going on this next drive. They have not really done anything this entire ball game, And hopefully we can keep it that way. As they throw short to Williams, that's actually a pretty nice catch. Pretty sure he had to make like a one-handed grab in order to catch it. So now here we go. First and 10 once again. Ward going to throw to the right-hand side. Finds Ryan McMillan for a gain of seven as he gets out of bounds. Later on, second and three going into the no huddle. Ward will be in the shotgun. He finds a wide receiver. Who instantly gets lit up by Jared Scott, but doesn't get the ball loose. So it will be marked down as a completion. As now, Ward throwing over to the middle. He finds Devin Alexander. That goes for a gain of seven yards. As we're going to try to keep this thing rolling here. Second and three. Ward going to throw it short this time. We got a beat on it, but we can't make the tackles. Multiple tackles missed before finally Corey Johnson gets up in there and finally clean it up as there's one of my friends on xbox getting on to play some beautiful college football as ward takes a hit the drive is stalled kevin carter was in there to make a play and that's only tulsa's second field goal of this entire game they're still down 34 to 6 though and if i'm showing kick up something might be coming down he's got a really nice concern but he can he turn it to six no he can't but wow, what a great kick return. And you see what has been transpiring for the St. Thomas offense. Simply been a machine that has not been able to be stopped, particularly in the second half. As we go into the last minute of this third quarter. Brooks looking, going to throw deep. He hits a perfect throw to Tyreek Miller. Right where it needed to be, needed to be in order to make the catch. Now we're in the red zone already. Let's see if we can score before the end of his third quarter. And this is another quick throw to IT with his 10th catch already today. This man might have more offense than the entire Tulsa football team. Wouldn't that be something as we're inching a little bit clo closer thanks to that run to Lucas Coley. As we're here in the fourth quarter now. If we get into the end zone, we're going to sim out as we might get there. No, we're just a few yards shy. Lucas Coley with another great run. Seven-yard gain. That puts him over the century mark once again. The man has been balling out as there's the end zone, and we are gone.
So checking out the scoring summary for our guys, and you can just tell how dominant we were in this game, man. Tulsa didn't even score till the fourth quarter, and that was when we decided to put in our backups, since we have way bigger games coming ahead of us in the near future. Checking out the stats for our guys, and Noah Brooks did get to start today, 20 for 25, 265, three touchdowns. We also got our first glimpse of Owen Benfield, a custom recruit on this squad. He was okay in his first game, 3 for 6 for 25 yards. The running game was also spearheaded by Lucas Coley today as he had another fantastic ball game. 16 carries for 107 yards and 2 scores. He was definitely a force to be reckoned with. The receiving core was also had a very nice day as Isaiah Thomas went off on these guys. He had 10 catches for 141 yards and 2 touchdowns. Another person to get into the end zone though was Alex Garcia. He had two catches for 13 yards, but man, Isaiah Thomas did really put the team on his back though, pulling a Greg Jennings. The defense was quite spread out today in terms of tackles, as we were able to get many of our backups in the fourth quarter. Dale Garrison and Jim Smith both had five tackles in today's game. Not too far behind him was DJ Watson, Corey Johnson, Buster Porter, and Jesus Shuttleworth, all with four tackles. We also got to this quarterback three different times today as Buster Porter was responsible for two sacks, whereas DJ Watson was able to get in there and get a sack on his quarterback as well. Did not force any turnovers today, although we did have a forced fumble by DJ Watson. Unfortunately, we could not recover the ball though, which is disappointing to see, but a huge win, can't complain. So after the game, we do get some decent news on the recruiting front, as while our big time prospects ha are, we are still deep in a recruiting battle with, we do pick up a commitment from James Turner, a 66 overall quarterback that can definitely contribute for us sometime down the line. But next episode, we will have a showdown we're fighting for, man, as we'll play the number eight team in the land. Playing against the Houston Cougars, who are 6-1. Kurt Hershey's rocking with them, but they don't know about the heart and soul that St. Thomas football has. It's going to be a really great game. So guys, if you're excited about this final stretch of games, do me a favor and please smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you have to be new. This is John J. Gaming on the mic coming at you guys with some more college football gaming in the future. Hope you all take care. Peace out, everybody.